The clubs and our owners fully understand just how important it is to our millions of fans that we get the game on the field as soon as possible. Now, if a deal is not reached in the next few days, more games could get canceled. And that's the last thing Royals fans want to see. KCTV5's Betsy Webster talked with a fan who had tickets for the home opener. She joins us live outside the K. So, Betsy, how are fans feeling about this tonight? Well, I mean, I think disappointment is a, a key word there. Disappointed not just because of the Royals, but also because of what it means for the American pastime of baseball and the family bonding that brings. That's where I keep a lot of my uh, signed baseball. Jeremy Danner has a full bookshelf dedicated to the Royals. Not one of the baseballs here was bought. And most of them might have been home runs or fouls. His son, Cooper, has been to 147 games. He was three weeks old when he clocked his first game. Taking my son to a baseball game, that's the best there is. Like, I live for that, and he likes going out there, too. He knew it was a risk buying tickets for opening day, but he bought them, he said, because he's an optimist. That optimism was put to the test today. I mean, it's it's disappointing. It's a bummer. Uh, my friends and I, we call opening day baseball Christmas, you know. He has a lot of opinions about the lockout that led to him missing that father-son tradition. I'm upset with the league and the owners. Um, I think some people want to blame the players, but nobody, nobody goes to a game wearing an owner's jersey. But he's maintained his optimism in other ways. Cooper, who's now eight, starts his first season playing baseball later this month. So I'm looking forward to being a fan of his team. They might also take more trips to Omaha for Storm Chasers games. That's where the Royals' top prospects are playing. He has eight gold gloves and two platinum gloves. Yep, which is ten gloves. Wow. That's crazy. Plenty of father-son moments still to be had. Just being out there, you know, seeing the field, smelling the grass, like everything about baseball, uh, makes me happy and it's awesome to be able to share that with him. Betsy Webster, KCTV5 News. Once a deal is reached, there will be a furious rush for free agents. Teams will only have a few days to sign players and get them ready for a shortened spring training. Former Royals Jake Junis, Jorge Soler and Zach Grinke are among the players looking to land somewhere.